good morning students in our last video we learned how can we use our sense of touch to determine whether an object is hot or cold and after doing one activity we came to the conclusion that we can't completely rely on our sense of touch because it is not give us accurate result every time so we should move to a a new measure to determine the degree of hotness or coldness of an object and that reliable measure is temperature temperature tells us about the degree of hotness or coldness of an object and the device which we can use to measure the temperature of an object that device is known as thermometer and if we talk deeply about thermometer there are different different types of thermometer okay whenever you are sick or someone else in your family had fever so you go to doctor and the doctor measure the temperature of your body by using a thermometer that particular thermometer is known as clinical thermometer so clinical thermometer is that thermometer which measures our body temperature clinical thermometer we use or doctors can use clinical thermometer to measure the temperature of our body and its range lies from 35 degree celsius to 42 degree celsius it means it can measure from 35 degree celsius temperature to up to 42 degree celsius if we talk about in fahrenheit the range starts from 95 degree fahrenheit to 108 degree fahrenheit fahrenheit and celsius these both are the different scales of measuring temperature whenever the doctor tells you that your body temperature is 99 or 100 it means he is telling you about the body temperature in degree fahrenheit not in degree celsius so look at this picture it's a picture of a clinical thermometer so let's discuss what are the different characteristics of a clinical thermometer clinical thermometer consists of long narrow uniform tube so you can see it has a long narrow and uniform glass tube it has a bulb at one end ek end par kya hai ek bulb hai that bulb contains mercury in it the you can easily observe a shiny part here this shiny part is mercury and outside the bulb a shiny thread of mercury can be seen this this is a shiny thread of mercury and one more thing one more characteristic of clinical thermometer is it has a kink near the bulb which does not allow the mercury level to fall back into the bulb so it is magnified here in the picture this if you see this part carefully you will observe a bent or kink like this what is the function of this kink it it helps to hold the temperature it help, helps to hold the measurement in the thermometer suppose you have uh, measured your body temperature with the clinical thermometer now you have taken out the thermometer from your mouth if this kink is not present there the mercury will start falling back into the bulb and you will you, are, you will not be able to get the accurate measurement of your body temperature so this kink helps to hold the measurement that's why it is very important now let's see how can we read a thermometer i hope most of you know how can we read but if you are not aware about how can you read the thermometer let's see so first of all you have to wash the thermometer it's the first part firstly you have to wash the thermometer preferably with an antiseptic solution and hold it carefully and if the temperature is not below 35 degree celsius if its initial measurement inside the thermometer is not below 35 degree celsius so you have to give it a few jerks so that the 
mercury fall comes down now play you have to place the bulb of the thermometer this part you have to place the thermo bulb of the thermometer under your tongue and after 1 minute you can take the thermometer out and note the reading so whatever you will note this is your body temperature so now what is your homework you have to use a clinical thermometer to measure your body temperature so you know that this clinical thermometer is very useful device but it is also delicate so we have to take care of some precautions while working or while reading a clinical thermometer first of all you have to wash it before and after use aapko use karne se pehle bhi wash karna hai use karne ke baad bhi isko wash kar kar hi rakhna hai second whenever you are going to use it before use you must check that the temperature inside the bulb should be below 35 degree celsius next is read the thermometer keeping the level of mercury along the line of sight to aapko kya karna hai apni line of sight matlab apni eyes ke bilkul front par isko rakhna hai bilkul samne rakhna hai so that you can read the accurate value clearly next is you have to handle the thermometer with care because if it if whenever if you by mistake it strike any hard surface it can easily break next is never hold the thermometer by the bulb so you have to hold the thermometer you can also see in this picture you should not hold this thermometer by the bulb you have to hold the thermometer by the other end so these are the some precautions which you should keep in your mind while working with clinical thermometer next thermometer is laboratory thermometer which is used in labs for different scientific experiments so it is used to measure the temperature of different objects alag alag objects ka temperature measure karne ke liye hum isko use karte hain suppose you want to measure the temperature of boiling water so you know the boiling water must have temperature near about 100 degree celsius so you, and clinical thermometers range only up to 42 degree celsius so we can't measure the temperature of boiling water with clinical thermometer so there in those conditions we will use laboratory thermometer it its range is minus 10 degree celsius to 110 degree celsius so you can see it has a wider range than is if we compare it to the clinical thermometer and last characteristic is it doesn't have kink we has discussed that clinical thermometer has kink to hold the measurement but there is no such kink present in case of laboratory thermometer so you can see the picture of laboratory thermometer it is similar to clinical thermometer but somewhat bigger in size ye thoda sa kya hai usse bada hai and second point it doesn't have kink near the bulb isme koi bhi kink aapka present nahi hai so here is your homework what you will do you have to write all the point of difference between clinical thermometer and laboratory thermometer